hello and welcome. I am so excited to be here today on May 15th, which is International Kangaroo Care Day. And we get a chance to talk to Jamile Jackson, who is the founder of Kangaroo Care Day, as well as a mother of a preemie, an inventor, and an just an all around amazing human being. Jamile, thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to talk about this with you. Thank you. I'm excited. So May 15th, Kangaroo Care Day. Um, this is year 12, I think you said, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, so tell me how you first got the idea um, to start a, an international day of awareness about kangaroo care. Yeah, so I, uh, Zachary was born 22 years ago and I did kangaroo care. I am Colombian. So when I was a little girl in Colombia, I heard about, about it in the news um, not that I was a news junkie at 11, but, um, you know, there were only two channels, so there was no option. Uh, right. So I, um, when, when I was introduced to it, to the NICU, uh, it, it clicked and I was like, okay, mm -hmm. the nurse introduced it as something nice to do. There was not a lot of research uh, 22 years ago, mm -hmm. um, but I was like, you know, if it's nice, I will do it. Anything nice, right. I will do. So. Yeah. We did a lot right. of kangaroo care. Um, we had a flood after Zachary was born, and we lost power to the hospital. So the incubator didn't work. And um, I was able to get there with my husband a couple of hours after the power went off. And I did skin to skin with him. And Larry uh, learned how to bag him. He got a crash, crash course on how to bag him. And so wow. we did that, and he was a total of nine hours without incubator. So, wow, yeah. that so, is an amazing, amazing story. So you, so this little micro preemie, and how old? Like how, how, how old was he at that time? <laughs> he was three weeks old. He was born at nine hundred pounds, so he was yeah. a little bit over two pounds, two and a half pounds maybe. And so you he, and your husband he was, literally kept him alive while the incubator because there was no power. That is amazing. Yeah. yeah. So kangaroo care is totally dear to my heart. I think that Zachary is healthy and normal because in part, big part for kangaroo care. And there is actually evidence that the benefits of kangaroo care, you can see them until, you know, they're mm -hmm. adults. Yeah. So, um, I did the Zaki Zach. Uh, well, I did the Zaki hug first, which is the little hand for Zach that I did. And when I was doing work with it in different NICUs, I realized that we were not doing skin to skin. Um, parents were there, but they were not holding, or parents weren't they, there. So mm -hmm. I wanted to know what basic, what were the, what were the roadblocks to kangaroo care in the United mm -hmm. States? So uh, I did a research, of course, <laughs> and, um, you know, I interviewed moms, nurses, therapists, anybody that I knew. Uh, we went also, like, we talked with, you know, everybody that would talk to us, uh, former mm -hmm. parents, current parents, and, and we could put these uh, roadblocks into big buckets. One was... Mm -hmm education and training mm -hmm. and awareness. Mm -hmm. uh, many of the nurses said, well, you know, if, if the parent asks, we'll do it. But I was like, how would the parents know to ask? Right. So right. it's, uh, it was, you know, like, and then basic information, like who can do it for how long? Um, what are the contraindications? What can be done mm -hmm. in your care? What, you know, all these you know, from basic, because kangaroo care was was not, and unfortunately sometimes is not, part of the curriculum for nursing therapy or, right. or medical school, right. or, you know, for, neon, for neonatologists. So I started kangaroo care day. I needed a date, and uh, I just picked Zachary's birthday. Yeah. Now, the other big bucket was um, safety. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, the babies can dislodge, the moms are closing their eyes. Um, no nurse likes to say to the mom, you know, you're closing your eyes, I need to put the baby back. Is the worst thing that, I, because the nurses know how, how important it is, but you know, right. it's in danger if the mom falls asleep. But we also know that moms are sleep deprived. We're mm -hmm. terrified. We are, you know, we're nervous. And then you put the baby on, on us and mm -hmm. we start producing oxytocin. You give us a very comfortable chair and tells us to relax, mm -hmm. but not relax so much that you're going to fall right. asleep. So I actually fell asleep with Zach in kangaroo care and, um, you know, doing all the precautions and all that. And it was the best, if not the only good sleep that I had in the five months Zach was in the NICU. So mm -hmm. I wanted to make a product, a device that would be, that would provide that safety mm -hmm. that baby is not going to dislodge that they you know if the mom removes the hands to get a drink or to mm -hmm. you know to hold a book or a phone or something mm -hmm. they not be in danger so i made the exact sack for that um but back to kangaroo care day i you know we wanted you know i made a website mm -hmm. um and it you know everybody just took it to where it is right now i yeah. mean it is, it is amazing. amazing. Uh, one, yeah. one of the, what I like and I wanted to do with Kangaroo Care Day yeah, was to also give a, an opportunity to celebrate the staff because mm -hmm. we, you know, we have days and we have things, but, you know, we, the creativity of the staff and the creativity. Mm -hmm parents and the willingness of everyone to improve kangaroo care has been amazing and we have seen mm -hmm. that if you celebrate kangaroo care day you know your it is true that it's not going to stay at the level of kangaroo care mm -hmm. day but it will be right. higher than it was before kangaroo care day so right. our goal of improving kangaroo care the practice the safety the awareness the science all that that's that's what we're doing and, and it's amazing. So let me ask you just quickly for those who may not be aware that kangaroo care is so much more than a nice thing to do. You mentioned the oxytocin, you mentioned, you know, briefly kind of long term outcomes, but what what is the research now? You know, what do we know for a fact about how important um, kangaroo care is for um, for infants? So basically, kangaroo care is the the second best place after the womb. Mm -hmm. um, the babies have very positive sensorial stimulation, so they have the the touching of the parent because you're doing skin to skin, and touching of the parent means that the baby touches the the chest of the parent from the neck to the nipples to the belly button. So no bra on the mom, no t-shirt, nothing. It has to be that diagonal um, touching the parent. So by them being calm, because the parent calms the baby, unless the parent is stressed, you know, um, you know, thinking that something bad is going to happen. Okay. But usually, you know, the parents are calm and you have, you have heard it. Like when you go to get a flu shot, and the, the technician says, relax, because if you relax, it will hurt less. Well, mm -hmm. there is also evidence in kangaroo care that babies show less uh, indication of pain when they are in the, in the, you know, on the, on the chest of the parent. Mm -hmm. By the way, it doesn't have to be only the parent. It can be anybody. Any, any, mm -hmm. I always say that any healthy chest is better than a, on a mattress. Yes. So, yes. They have a touch. They can hear the, the voice of the parents. They hear the heartbeat of the parents. Um, you know, they have all nice sensory stimulation. Um, so they sleep. And we know that when they sleep, they, they develop the, the, the brain. They grow and they heal. So they go home faster which is one of the benefits, big benefits of kangaroo care because they're doing better, so they go faster. Mm -hmm. 
by being calm, they also need less medication. Mm -hmm. the, the mom's vital signs regulate the vital signs of moms and dads, the vital signs of the baby. So they need less interventions. They need less of, you know, um, they have less unplanned uh, interventions as well. Mm -hmm. um, so all everything that, you know, brain development, physiological development, especially because they're sleeping. So it's mm -hmm. helpful. Mental health for the baby, obviously, because the baby feels that they're safe. Uh, when they're on the bed, they're separated from the mom or the dad. And that is the most stressful thing that can happen to a child and also to a mom. So we want them to be zero separation as possible. Right. Um, I mean, there anything that has, that has the baby is improved with kangaroo care. Uh, attachment right. is really important. Um, you know, the, the reduction of um, uh, association with touch with pain or touch with, you know, stress. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, and there is research that shows, you know, how, one of the big ones that happened after Zach was in the NICU uh, is that kangaroo care uh, reduces mortality and morbidity of the newborn. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, that tells you everything. Absolutely. Um, and it's not just for preterm infants either. I mean, it's you know, no, full-term so infants they, with medical complications, even full-term healthy babies healthy and um, families benefit. Right. Um, yeah, so WHO is... Um, uh, tomorrow is, um, you know, giving the position paper on kangaroo care, but they have already said that the recommendation is that kangaroo care should be done between eight and 24 hours. Um, but, you know, one of the things happened in the U.S. is that perception started that because kangaroo care was done in Colombia, in an apps because they didn't have enough incubators. In the US, there was a perception that, well, we have incubators, so we don't have that problem. Um, so we don't have to do kangaroo care because we have the best equipment, the best doctor. The technology, right. Technology, so um, it, there has to be a huge change of culture in the NICUs and, um, you know, to bring kangaroo care, you know, because parents have to be there. And mm -hmm. when parents are there and they don't have anything to do, then they, they can be disrupted for some people. However, mm -hmm. if we tell them you need to be here and, you know, rule of thumb, kangaroo care 80% of the time that you're here, uh, mm -hmm. unless that 80% of the time is less than one hour, um, then, you know, parents have a purpose. They have, you know, mm -hmm. know that they're doing something for their babies instead of being outside an incubator thinking my baby doesn't know I'm here and I have right. a thousand things to do, you know, that right. I'm not doing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, King Your Care is definitely... You know, it, it gives a sense of, of purpose to the parents as well. Uh, we feel that we can't do anything, that we are totally out of control, that, you know, um, you know, we're visitors. So by doing kangaroo care, we become, <clears throat> the, you know, a very important part of the team that takes care of this, yeah. of this baby. And <clears throat> just like we cannot do what doctors do, they cannot do what we do. And so we mm -hmm. need to be there. I love that. That's so true. That is so true. We can't do what doctors can do, but doctors can't do what we can do. I yeah. really love that. It's a well, let's, it's a yeah, absolutely it is. And, you know, of course, we've got many other issues in the U.S. where, you know, we don't have um, parental leave and a lot of families aren't able to be at the hospital 24 hours a day. But if we can educate them and the staff to know that any moment that that parent or that caregiver is there with the baby, that that baby should be skin to skin, no matter what, yeah, absolutely. You know, that every, every moment is, is so precious and so important. 
So let's talk about, um, I'm going to pull up the, uh, the website for kangaroo care or kangaroo.care, right? Yes. Um, so that, that we can, website. we are going to show oh, all the different ways that people can um, celebrate today because you have this wonderful website. Yeah, so today it is today is the day. <laughs> yes, um, it so is. Website, uh, what we wanted is to provide resources, um, ideas, um, things that NICUs, well, anybody can do. And like you said, you know, it's not just for, for preemies. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's anybody that weighs from one pound to 15 pounds can do kangaroo care. Mm -hmm. After mm -hmm. about 15 pounds, they start like, I'm too hot, you know, and then yeah. they start swimming and they just said, you know, that's, that's their first sign of uh, independence that, mm -hmm. uh, they, that they show. Uh, but the yeah. baby should be the one saying, you know, I don't want a kangaroo care anymore. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Use uh, kangaroo until the babies can be clothed, which is 32 weeks. Um, but we still have eight weeks of development that we need. So, and then, you know, kangaroo care is called the, the fourth trimester as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, is, is the, the transition between being in the womb where everything is done automatically mm -hmm. to being you know, outside where basically you have to cry for everything. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so, so, so this website, we have several, you know, everything, if we, what we wanted to do, like, if anybody asks something about King Your Care, uh, we wanted to provide the answer, but not only provide it to that NICU, but have it available for, for everyone. So mm -hmm. in, that, in this website, for example, we have the logos, which are super popular. Um, they have the, the date and we have them in, I think in 16 or 17 different languages. Um, and those are everyone that tells us, can you make the logo in this, in this uh, language? We do it, but we also put it in the website for everybody else that needs it. Uh, we're doing a kangarooathon today. Um, many of the NICUs uh, have done kangarooathons for years. I mean, at least I don't know, ten years. Um, and it's a uh, it's a little friendly competition of you know every time a baby is kangarooed for an hour, you know, they have something. And then whoever at the end of this time has the more kangaroo time, then they get a little prize or just bragging rights. Um, mm -hmm. So we are, we are doing it. We have, so far, we have like 130 something country, I mean, a team. Oh, wow. And a team. Wow, that's great. Thank you. And then we have like, 14 countries, 14 or 15 countries. So um, exactly. we give them everything. We give them the plan. We give them the calendar. We give them what they need to print. So because the easier it is, the more they're going to do it. So right, basically, right. absolutely. They print the cards. And this is the last time we're going to do it manually because we are working on an app that will do the kangaroo So um you know, they print the, uh, this year, they print the cards that they give to every parent. The parent mm -hmm. fills out whatever they did kangaroo care on that day. And then they rec they um, collect them and then put them in a Excel that we give them where they just put, you know, this the, the duration of the sessions and how many sessions mm -hmm. they did that, that, that day. And they, uh, they, they file those, all the calculations and they submit it to us. And then we, we do some analytics and then send them back to everybody that participated. So it's, really, it's a really good, like a snapshot of kangaroo care in your unit. Mm -hmm. We can also mm -hmm. compare it to, you know, teams that are about your size of mm -hmm. and, you know, and about your area. We did mm -hmm. one for... Um, 
came, uh, for, for Prematurity Day, and we're going to do another one this year for World Prematurity Day. Mm-hmm. We had about 50 teams, um, and, and it's amazing. I mean, we have now data that we can compare from mm-hmm. time, so it's, it's exciting. That is exciting. And I love this Team Leader of the Year Award. Tell us about that. Yeah, so um, a team leader is basically the, the the queen bee of the kangaroo care in their unit. So, um, or not the queen bee because she doesn't do much. <laughs> the, <laughs> <person>. <laughs> the queen bee just has to be there and waits for everybody else to do something. So, <laughs> so no, that's not the analogy. <laughs> um, the the is 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 the the person in the unit that. It coordinates all the kangaroo care activities. So mm-hmm. they make sure that they have the prices for the people, they have all the cards. We have, you know, cards that they can print or they can have information. Mm-hmm. There are some hospitals doing trivia, um, you know, for kangaroo care. So basically, who who is, who is, I mean, it can be more than one person. Who are those or that team that um, has really elevated kangaroo care in their unit. So that's great. Yeah. And let's scroll down just a little bit here. So you've got lots of different things happening around the world as well. Yeah. So World Health Organization tomorrow, there you have a position paper. Um, and it's, uh, I believe, at six in the morning, 6 30 in Central Time. 8 30. I'm sorry. 8 30. 8 30. Yeah. 8 30 Central Time. Um, and then the other one on the left of that is uh, the University of Alberta and the University of Calgary are doing a kangaroo care webinar. And you don't have to re- re- um, register. You can just um, show up for that one. And we give you the link, the link for that. That is wonderful. <laughs> wow. How this is just so amazing. So that's kangaroo.care. So everybody go check that out. And um, this is just so phenomenal that you've been able to really champion kangaroo care um, for all these years and give everybody the tools that they need to understand it, to implement it, to celebrate it. So I just thank you so much, Amelia, for all of the work that you've done for all of these many years. Well, you know, the MPN has been really, really supportive and, and you know, <laughs> you have been so helpful and everybody in MPN, I mean, they, they, Many of them are doing things today, so yeah, it's uh, kangaroo care is something that the parents can do, and yeah. and it just empowers us so much, and we know the benefits of it, um, and yeah, so That's lots great. of tips. Well, yes, well, thank you so much, Jamile, <laughs> for all of your work. Thank you for creating this day for everybody, and just you know, I mean, I just think of the just countless families that are impacted because of this awareness day. And like you said, it, there's a, there's a heightened awareness on the day. And then, you know, we've got to work to make sure that we don't, that we can keep those levels right. um, throughout right. the year. That's what I, I will be happy when every day is kangaroo care day. Yes. I love <laughs> that. Well, I think that's the perfect way to end. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here and for um, sharing all of this with us, with us. So Happy Kangaroo Care Day, everybody. You too. You too. Bye-bye. Bye.